What's going on guys, Sean Vitter back with another video. Today I have an unboxing for you guys. I'm super excited about it. I just got back from CT Barber Expo and I picked up the brand new Gamma XL blow dryer. I'm super stoked about this blow dryer guys. I actually left my Dyson in Connecticut with one of the 245 homies. It's been two weeks. I can't wait to open this thing up. So let's go ahead and get in here and see what this thing's all about. All right guys, so like I said, this is the Gamma XL, or XL, I'm not sure how you're really supposed to say it. This is their brand new blow dryer. Guys, this is top of the line. It retails for 300 bucks. Like I said, once I grabbed this, I actually let one of my 245 homies get my Dyson. I'm so excited about this thing. There's one feature in particular you guys have to stick around to see, and I'll show you guys once we get it hooked up and start using it. We got one of these Apple type boxes. You guys know I like that, the suction boxes. There you go guys, Gamma XL. We got four different tips. I almost won't be able to get them out. There we go. Four different nozzles for blow drying. This one's pretty small and narrow. You can see the sizes here, they get a little bit wider. Of course, the diffuser, very similar to the Dyson guys. You know I like to use this for my crop tops. I'm not sure if these are magnetic or how they work, but we will get the blow dryer out, hook it up, and then we can check the rest out. Now before we check out the blow dryer, I'm gonna read you guys the details. Some of this stuff means nothing to me, but I know you guys like to hear this. And this is what's on the box. So this is all I can really tell you beforehand. Uh, but just say it has a long life digital DLDC motor. So I'd imagine obviously that means that this thing should last me a while. Motor speed, 110,000 RPM. So you guys talk about clipper speeds. Those are in the six, seven, 8,000. 110,000, guys, this thing sounds like a jet engine when you turn it on. Very similar to the Dyson. That's why I knew this thing was gonna be tough. Ultra lightweight, 10.37 ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that is gonna be lighter than what my Dyson was. It wasn't exceptionally heavy. But 10 ounces sounds pretty light. So again, we're gonna have to hook this thing up and really use it, but it sounds like it's pretty light. Extreme air pressure, 125,000 PSF. Pressure per square foot, I don't know what that means. But anyway, guys, this thing is super dope. Like I said, it, it sounds very high power. It does come with all the attachments and there's one feature once we hook it up, I'm gonna show you that's gonna blow your mind and this is why I had to have it. Go ahead and unwrap all this. I know they said not to take this off, but guys, I'm not leaving it on there. Go ahead and unhook the cord. Of course, we gotta take the plastic off. All right guys, so I went ahead and hooked it up on my station where my normal blow dryer would go. You guys can see I have enough cord. My chair is right in front of me. Definitely have enough cord for here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it. We'll come all the way to the camera. Guys, that's at least probably about 10 feet of cord. I don't know if you guys can see that or if it's focused. At least probably 10 feet of cord, and that's pretty serious. I don't know what you guys have dealt with with your blow dryers, but a lot of blow dryers don't have enough cord. And depending on where you hook it up on your station, it doesn't even barely reach the chair. So as you guys can see, it is super small, very lightweight. Guys, here's my old Dyson next to it. So actually very similar in size, a little bit longer on top, of course. And the handle is a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller, but you guys can see. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, it is, it is definitely lighter than the Dyson. The Dyson isn't bad, there are no attachments on this, obviously. Dyson's not too heavy, but this is absolutely light. Now with this being so light, you guys would think that the power would not be there, but I want to tell you guys this thing sounds like a jet engine. I'm going to walk up to the camera, get a little closer, and hit it for you guys, so hopefully you can get a sound clip that you can really hear. Okay guys, so I just learned if you took the switch, all the way up to the lock button, you're not able to adjust the speed or the heat settings. Uh, I guess that's so that when you're using it, it doesn't change. But if you guys knock it down just to the on setting, you can change these buttons. I turned the speed up to three, but I'm gonna let you guys hear it again on three, and then I'm gonna show you the hidden trick. All right guys, so the super cool feature on here is the filter is on the back and it does not come off. So there is a way to clean it and this is what I thought was so cool. You guys, you wanna let it run for 60 seconds like we just did. Now hold the cold shot for five seconds.
Now you guys just saw it blew the air backwards out the filter to go ahead and clean the filter out. This does not come off the back like I said. And it only did it for a second. This is brand new. I think the longer you use it, the more that it will blow that out to clean it out. But anyway guys, first glance, I'm loving this thing. It's super small, super compact. Honestly, when I was holding it, it was blowing back in my hand. It was so powerful. The air filter cleaner setting is super cool. It comes with all the attachments. So the only thing we have left to do guys is actually use this on a couple heads. So I'm gonna set my camera up. A couple heads today we're gonna try to style with the XL blow dryer. We'll get together in the end and talk about how good it is. All right guys, so you heard it in the clips before, but this thing is super powerful. You see with the nozzle on here, no problem getting the hair dry and styled how we want it. Throw some product in, we're gonna get a nice flip up in the front for this kind of pompadour shape. And the XL with the nozzle on, definitely got the job done. Nice and quick, super easy. Definitely performed just as well as the Dyson did, so I'm happy with it so far. Now we're gonna throw the diffuser on and try to bring out some texture. You guys know this is my favorite style. So we'll use the diffuser to dry this hair, bring the texture back out, throw some product in, and see what the finished product looks like. So overall guys, I'm definitely pleased with the Gamma XL blow dryer. Works just as good as the Dyson for sure. It is $100 less, so I'm pleased with it. I'm glad I got it. Um, not really much of a difference from how it performs. They both perform very well. I did like my Dyson the whole time I had it, but I'm definitely pleased with this. If you guys wanna check it out, Gamma sells it on their website. You can also get it from my homies at Fort Worth Barber Supply. If you guys think you're gonna check it out, leave me a comment down below and let me know. Smash that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you guys subscribe. My man in the video right here, his tutorial will be dropping on Wednesday, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Haircut turned out super dope, nice texture on top. You guys see he has a natural curl, but super happy with the cut. This is my newest barber, Hunter. So you guys make sure you check out that video on Wednesday when it drops. I appreciate you guys checking out my review on the Gamma XL and I'll catch you guys next time.